So one of the questions that we keep getting from WordPress consultants is how do they move a website from one place to another, especially from local host over to a web host on the internet so that it can actually show it to their clients and collaborate with people. So what we've found is that a lot of the tutorials out there are really complex and they use all of these different tools and you need to be a developer. But I want to show you today that it's actually not that difficult using local by flywheel, WP engine and transferable installs and a plugin called all in one WP migration. So let's jump into the studio and take a look how it's done. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to have WordPress installed locally on your machine. Now the easiest way to do that is with local by flywheel. Now we have a separate tutorial about how to set that up. So go check that one out and then come back here. So what I've got set up here is I've got an absolute default uh, vanilla WordPress install set up with local by flywheel. Uh, I'm just going to jump into that one. So it's just completely default theme that I've got here. I can click on view site within local by flywheel to get access to that. Uh, I'm logging in to the dashboard as well. And now I want to install all in one WP migration. You can see in the sidebar, I already have it installed here, but I'll just go through the process. Anyway, we go into plugins and then add new. And then within the search bar here, we type in all in one migration. And that should be the first one that comes up. So it's already active, but we would click install now and then just wait for that to install. And then that will appear in the sidebar. So I'm going to go over to the sidebar where it says all in one WP migration and click on export. And this is where we'll be exporting over to WP engine. So the next step is to get all set up on our WP engine install. So we're ready to accept the migration. So I already have my account set up there. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to create a new account with WP Engine. Uh, and then you'll be able to get to this screen where I've gone to installs and then add. So with the install name, you have to create something that's unique. So what I've got in here is WP Migrate Test. And I can see that WP Engine says it begins with a letter. It only contains letters and numbers. It's got the right amount of characters and that name is available. So I'm ready to go. If you have any X's there, it means that you need to pick a different name. So just keep changing until you find something that's suitable for you. And that's unique. You have to also click on the transferable install button here. Now what that does is it creates a, an install that can be transferred to another WP Engine account. Why that's useful is that you can create your install, you can set WordPress up, and then you can actually transfer it over to your clients in um, own WP Engine account if you want them to be in control of the hosting. It's also absolutely fantastic because you can have as many of these transferable installs as you want for no extra cost. Uh, I think they're absolutely perfect for development. Uh, it's a really great service offered by WP Engine. So make sure you tick that one. Uh, when it comes to group, environment and copy from, that's up to you and your workflow. I'm just going to leave those as they are because we don't need them for this demo. Next step is we're going to click on create install. And we'll just wait for WP Engine to set that up. Uh, it doesn't take very long at all, but we'll just have a quick look at this screen while that's being set up. So the demo link is here. So WP Migrate Test WP uh, you need to use a username and password just to access that. Now that's different from the WordPress admin. Uh, once this is set up, I'll show you how we can access that. Uh, the password I'm just going to put into my clipboard there so I can just copy and paste that in. A little power tip here is I like to change that password to something that's consistent across all my installs. What I like to do is use a certain number of characters uh, at the beginning of the, the um, the subdomain there and then put in the name of my business at the end. So for this one, we could have the first four letters. So WPMI and then WP Elevation, so WPE. So I'm just going to change that password now to show you what I mean. WPMI and then WPE. 
Now, why this is useful is it makes it so it's so easy when I'm looking at the different transferable installs to remember what the password is and I don't have to keep coming back into this section to try and figure that out. It also means that with my team and when we're working together, it's easy for us all to remember uh, so that we can access things and, and get to the demos nice and quickly. So I'm gonna save that. And by this time, hopefully I've received an email. So I'm gonna go over and check my email to see if I've got the, uh, the link that this install is ready to go. All right, so I've got the email from WP Engine saying this is ready to go. So I've got access to that here. It's got the URL, uh, the link to log into admin, and then a way to reset the admin password. So I'm gonna click on reset the admin password right now. That's gonna take me over to the new install. So now you can see I need to authenticate and I'll use the, uh, the username demo and then the password that we just set up before. So WPMI, WPE, making it nice and easy to remember. And then we'll just do it one more time because I think that just redirected to HTTPS. So now you want to put in your username or email address and that's the one that you signed up to WP Engine with. All right, so that's going to send me another email just to reset my password there. So we'll just check my email to make sure that one's come through. All right, so there's the password reset. So I'll click on that link. Uh, I'll just copy the username and then I'll click on that link. And let's go with that insane password. So I'm just gonna copy that over into my clipboard and click on reset password. And we'll click on login. So now the username that WP Engine set up is the name of the, the subdomain. So it's WP migrate test. And then I'm just gonna paste in the password there. All right, there we go. So now we're in the WordPress dashboard in the WP Engine transferable install. So now it's time to move from local over to our WP Engine transferable install. So what I'm gonna do now is install the WP uh, all-in-one migration. So again, we go over to plugins and then within the search, we go all-in-one migration and we'll click install now and then activate and then I'm just going to go into the sidebar here and then click on import so I'm ready to go when we have the export ready from our local uh, local by flywheel install so I'm going to go back over to that tab now and the first thing that we've got here is it says find text and replace with another text in the database. So what this is, is replacing the domain name from the current one to what's going to be the live one. So find, and what we want to do is go up to the address bar here. So in the find space, we want to take this, copy it, paste that in here. So find the local address. So I'm just going to delete the, the backslash at the end there and then replace with the address that we want to send that one to. And just make sure that the, the backslash isn't on the end there and that we're using the actual domain so that we've got HTTP or HTTPS. I like to just copy and paste that instead of typing it in so it's going to be accurate with what is actually live and, and working. So we put those in there and then we want to click on export to and then file. So, so now the tool will just package up together the, the backup there and it'll get that ready. If your install has quite a few images already and quite a few uh, plugins, it'll take a bit longer, but because this one is pretty much default, it's only four megabytes. So I'm just gonna click on that and I'm just gonna install, I'm gonna save that one into my downloads folder. Because I'm using Google Chrome, uh, most uh, browsers will do this. Uh, the download is just in the bottom there. I'm just gonna leave that in that location so that I can just quickly and easily drag and drop it into the live site. So I'm going to click on the, the live site, the WP Engine 
transferable install. And you can see here that it says drag and drop to upload and it also says import from. Now I could click on import from and then that gives a variety of locations including file, including Dropbox and Google Drive. But because I've just got this in the bottom of my browser window, I'm just going to drag and drop that up there. This will take a little bit of time to import and it'll show you progress as it's doing that. And you can see it's already done, so that was nice and fast. Click on proceed and what that's going to do is it's going to override everything on your WP Engine install with what you had in the local install. So now there's two more steps. The data has been imported successfully. I need to save permalinks twice. So we just follow, this, uh, follow these steps here. So click on that new link. So now what I want to do is log in with the same details from the local install. All right, so that's using the correct username from my local install, which I didn't have on the WP Engine install. So that's a good sign that things are working. I'll come down and click Save Changes once, and then Save Changes twice there. And then we should be ready to go. So I'm going to take a look now at the front end of the site. I can see that that's called WordPress migration, which is what I called the local uh, WordPress install. So things are looking good there, but there's one more step that I want to take just to make sure things are working perfectly. I'm going to go into Flywheel and I'm actually going to stop the uh, that particular install so it's not running because what I want to make sure is that it's not referencing anything that I've got locally. So I'm going to stop that and just make sure that that's all stopped. Come back over. I'm going to create a new private browsing window. Now using Chrome, I can go Command Shift N and that's going to create a new window for me. I'm just going to copy and then paste in the URL there. I'll need to put in the details. So demo and then WPMI, WPE, and then login. And that's how you move a website from local by flywheel over to a transferable install on WP Engine. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below and make sure you give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, let us know what you'd like to learn as well. If there's anything else uh, that you'd like to learn when it comes to building your WordPress consulting business, please tell us in the comments. If you like these videos, hit subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell and it will automatically advise you when they're published. Until next time, I'm Simon Kelly. Go Elevate. Oh,